Now, security in Uganda is investigating His Excellency Bobby Wine, the president of National Unity Platform, after receiving information that he's being sponsored by North Atlantic Treaty Organization, also known as NATO. This comes a week after his lawyer, Sam Moyizi, met with NATO top leadership. I'm coming up with the details. Uh, Dr. Kiza Besige, the president of the Red Card Movement, is currently on the wanted list of Uganda police. Anytime you could hear that he's been arrested and put behind bars. Now, Pope Francis, the head of the Catholic Church, has granted another meeting with the Speaker of Parliament, Right Honorable Anita Monk. I'm coming up with the details. And lastly, from the entertainment industry, I have a shocking story from Alien Skins Camp. You don't really want to miss on this one. Well, my name is Melads Milo, a.k.a. Fula. Welcome to the biggest stories making headlines in Uganda right now. And uh, this is The Buzz UG. Subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Follow me on TikTok. I'm using the same names right there. Now, the family of the late Sheikh Nu Muzata is currently in disarray over his wealth he left behind. While addressing the media, one of his widows, Hajit Kuruthum Nabunya, gave an account of what's really happening. She said that she first heard of how the late's daughter had sold part of his land containing his grave. In her own words, she said, I was informed that one of Sheikh's daughters had sold the part of land where he was buried. However, when I called her, she denied this. She informed me that she sold the part she inherited, which is acceptable. These wrangles are being led by a one Sheikh Yassin. He's the one who insulted me when I got married, and I'm sure they're hatching a plan to get hold of Sheikh's fortunes, but I want to warn them not to even dare dream about it. <laughs> Yes, uh, the lady in that audio is uh, Sheikh Muzata's daughter and uh, that's what is happening that side of let Sheikh no Muzata's camp and uh, I'll be keeping you posted right here on The Buzz UG. Now, Buganda Road Court has instructed Uganda police to arrest uh, Dr. Kiza Besige, the president of the Red Card Movement, and his co-accused, that is uh, Samuel Lubega Mukaku. The two are faulted for declining to show up for court hearing since they got bail last year when they were charged with illegal assembly and incitement to violence cases. The charges followed their protests against the high cost of living that had ravaged the economy last year. Yes, yeah, so anytime you could hear that Dr. Kiza Besige has been arrested and put behind bars. But of course, all the details will be coming your way right here on the Buzz UG. Now, away from that, Pope Francis, the head of the Catholic Church, has granted another meeting with the Speaker of Parliament, Right Honorable Anita Monk, on Friday, the 25th of August next month. This information has been confirmed by the Parliament of Uganda on their Twitter platform. The meeting will happen in Rome, the headquarters of the Catholic Church. Highly placed sources in Right Honorable Anita Monk's camp have revealed that they suspect Pope Francis wants the recently signed anti-homosexuality law to be reviewed. This will be the third time Pope Francis meeting Anita Monk days after he met the Prime Minister of Uganda, Right Honorable Robina Nabanja. Yes, so that is the latest update coming in from Anita Monk's camp. And in case I land on any developments on this one, I'll be keeping you posted right here on the Buzz UG. In other news, security agencies right here in Uganda are investigating circumstances under which NUP and Bobby Wine's lawyer Sam Moyizi met with NATO top leadership. Last week, NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg and Jonas Stoll, the Prime Minister of Norway, together with his Foreign Affairs Minister, met Sam Moyizi, Bobby Wine's lawyer. It should be remembered that Moyizi was the second lead castle during Bobby Wine's petition challenging President Museveni's 2021 victory. Moyizi has been on Bobby Wine's legal team since the Arua saga, where he was arrested on the allegation of attacking President Museveni's convoy. 
And by the way, according to reports, right now security is also investigating information that NATO agents facilitated Bobby Wine's visit to Ukraine last year. You remember last year, Bobby Wine visited Kyiv in Ukraine and also took pictures on the Ukrainian tanks that were destroyed by Russian army. Yes, so the intelligence right here in Uganda have information that Bobby Wine's visit in Ukraine was posted by NATO agents and this is something that they are seriously investigating. And of course, all the details will be coming your way right here on The Buzz UG. And finally, from uh, the entertainment industry, Alien Skin, the new kid on the block, has hinted about quitting Uganda's music industry by the end of this year. He said this via his social media platforms after so many people talked about his possibility of fading away in a short period of time. Alien Skin rose to fame earlier this year after his songs went viral on TikTok. His songs were being played in different media houses, yet him as a person wasn't known. We are yet to confirm whether he was kidding or indeed he's thinking of quitting music at the end of this year. And all the details will be coming your way right here on The Buzz UG. Well, that is the latest update I got for you right here on The Buzz UG. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fula. Don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Follow me on TikTok. I'm using the same names right there. It is a bye for now. Thank you. Audio Jungle.